a vision that. board anymore because I, awesome. I am a powerful manifester. You have to meet the vibration. You mm. can't be above or below it. In order to draw the thing to you that you want to come, mm. you can't want it so much that you fear that you won't get it. It doesn't come to you that way. You have to do it and then you have to put it and then you have to meet that vibration. You have to prepare yourself to be there and ready when it shows up and you were. I wish I could give that gift to all my fans. You have the freedom to pull the superstar out of yourself that you were born to be. I have so many affirmations that I do, mm -hmm. and I've, I've, I've done affirmations for a long, long time. Your thoughts create your life, and so you have to think positive thoughts all the time. You have to force yourself to think positive thoughts at times. I am open and receptive to all the goodness and abundance the universe has to offer. I am good on my own. I love myself. I love you, Jennifer. I love the universe. The universe loves me. God loves me. I, I am youthful and timeless at every age. I am enough. That uh, you have a thought and all of a sudden what you place your attention on begins to manifest and, and, and arrive in your life. You'll discover that those thoughts are not just things that are just our happenstance. There's no happenstance in this entire universe. It's all held together by a divine light. I heard yeah. that you did. Is that true? I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered. And I put it in my wallet and I kept it there and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff. And uh, just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make $10 million on Dumb and Dumber. Maybe. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. yeah. So you visualize yourself like... Yeah, yeah. Visualization works if you work hard. Yeah. Make a choice. Like, you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. When you care about being in the vortex, you care about being in concert with the energy that creates worlds. And one who's in the vortex, one who's in alignment with that energy, is more powerful than millions who are not. The moment you disconnect from the emotion of your future because of traffic or some coworker or your ex or whatever people come up with, now you're back to the energy of your past. Oh. And now you're gonna start looking for it, analyzing why hasn't it happened? Well, if you're feeling the emotion of your future, why would you look for it? Because you would feel like it already happened and that mm. is the place where the magic happens.